Hey folks, Technivers here, and today we are taking a look at Kira 5.8.1. Now, I haven't looked at 5.8 in a video yet, and this is just a little hot fix with some bug fixes. Not a lot of new stuff to go over. Still, we're going to take a look and see what's changed in the new Kira. But first, this video is brought to you by Freebits.co. This is a free Bitcoin faucet that is now my new favorite faucet, to be honest. And they match deposits up to 500 bucks on your first deposit, so that's pretty awesome as well as the fact that you can roll the faucet every 15 minutes here so uh, I got about four minutes and 49 seconds left before I roll the faucet again and I suggest you head over to freebits.co and check it out for yourself they have referrals and all sorts of cool stuff and I think that you might like this one but let's get back to the Kira video that's why we're here today we are looking at the new settings and the biggest one is this new Z seam settings that they've added so it seems like there's a lot of stuff in here as well as uh, it says support Z seam away from model which is pretty wild so I kind of want to see what that looks like so we're gonna play around with that just a little bit but let's see what else they have here might as well click on that and get the file they're telling me telling me to check out here um, this is the Ultimaker method uh, new profiles for it so uh, I don't use one of those I don't have one of those printers but uh, if you do there's some new features here for you new material profiles and that's kind of cool as well the search bar has been added to add an offline printer so now that list is getting quite long and there are a ton of names and yes they're in there alphabetically but it can take forever to find the actual printer you're looking for so they've added this handy little search bar up here so you can just type it in and pop it up the last one here is about how they sent some gift bags out to some Kira contributors and just a cool little thank you for some of the people who, who give stuff to Kira and, and make extensions and add updates and stuff like that because as you can see a lot of this stuff is done by contributors that don't actually work here and generally you can see uh, what uh, what user made an update or who, who contributed what, which is really, really cool. But they also apparently sent them some gift bags, which is cool. Uh, there are some bug fixes. Uh, the main reason for 5.8.1 is where it fixed an issue where materials cannot be synced to Ultimaker printers. Probably didn't affect a lot of people, but they definitely want their software to work with their printers, so I get why they kick out an update real quick. And then apparently um, updated an improvement uh, profile for one of their printers as well. So. Let's go in here. I don't know why it opened this here. I need to adjust my, my browser got changed again. I hate that. Let's go ahead and download this. And then we'll test out the overhangs here. Say happy post it. Downloads that drag this over here oh okay that's just the face that goes on the thing we don't need the face here let's go ahead and get the right file here yep I just grabbed the eyes let's grab the toast There we are. So and apparently you print this separately and you can pop it in there. We don't need that. Let's go ahead, delete this part. Pop this up here to the middle of the build plate. And let's check out these Z seam settings first because that's the new thing and that's, that's what I'm curious about. Uh, so Z seam alignment. I'd seen, you know, I'm still getting sharpest corner and all this, but I'm not really seeing uh, user specified. Let's see if there's a little bit more information on this. 
because I'm not really finding it. So let's see. Um, what's new? All right, so I might not have these settings turned on. So let's try looking for them. So let's go in here. Actually, let's go up here and figure Kira settings. And we'll look for all of the Z-Seam settings. Okay, so I don't have Z-Seam on Vertex turned on, and that is actually under Walls. And then support Z-Seam away from model. Okay, I think I misunderstood that. That's going to be the Z-Seam on the support itself making sure it's away from model, but we are going to check that. So let's go ahead and check walls here. User specified. Relative to each part center. Okay, so that just puts it out from the center of the build plate. We don't need to mess with that in, in, at all. Let's check out the support here. I think I might add a little support. Um, and we'll move the Z-seam out that way, although I do need to go a little bit hotter here. That's ridiculous. Let's do... I want to, oh, I was, uh, I was using a Core XY machine. That's why I have... My setting is so nuts. All right, so support, generate support, support structure normal, support placement touching build plate. All right, so here's our support Z seam away from model. So let's run this and see where they place it, and then we'll turn that back on and see where the Z seam moves to. Then we will get a print out of this and see what our model quality looks like. Has been a little while since I've done a print. As you can tell, I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. I'm going to get back, back into it here. I know I always say that, but I really am here soon. So uh, let's see here. I think we're going to be having some polls coming up on the channel to see like what types of other videos people might like to see from the channel. Just because I do do a lot of 3D printing content, but I want to do other tech stuff too because... See, there's our seam right there. Okay, so let's... This should only change the seam for the support. And it has, yeah, our, our Z seam is still showing up there. I don't really like it there. I'm going to leave this on, but let's go move the Z seam somewhere a little bit more hidden. sharpest corner yeah so I mean really with the support there wasn't anything really noticeable about the movement of the Z seam but there isn't very much support on this model so we are going to I think actually just turn the support off so I'm pretty sure I can print all this without it so support off slice we will go throw this on the printer and the next time you hear my voice we will be taking a look at the finished model so we will see you then and here we are so obviously I've scaled this down a little bit to save on time but let's take a look at the model and see how it came out say that that's actually pretty nice. I'm not seeing any uh, major defects. I'm also not really seeing the Z seam that I placed on sharpest corner, so it's pretty well hidden. I do have a little bit of blobbing going on here in the eyes. These are supposed to be uh, empty, and there's a little bit of build up there. I think that might be because I haven't run this printer in a while and I need to dial it in, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the new Kira video, guys. Uh, we'll be testing this out a lot more, and when the next version comes out, I promise I'll be a little bit more on top of it. 
and do a video a little bit sooner. Uh, I've really been enjoying this printer. This printer is a, a Mingda Magician X2 and it's pretty fast. The quality is pretty good. I've gotten some, some decent stuff off of here. So um, I have some new G-Tech filament that I think we're going to try in the next video. So stick around for that. Make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And as always, like I said, you know, I'm looking for ideas for different kinds of videos that involve technology and things that I'm into. So if there's something you want to see, go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Technivorous out.